hopefully you have found that things are getting easier on um, Google Classrooms. Um, and hopefully you have found that things are getting easier with the kiddos. Um, hopefully they're becoming more independent on what they're doing now that we've kind of been doing it for a while and it's getting routine and they're getting used to it. Hopefully you're finding that they are becoming a little bit more independent. Um, all right, so let me go through just a, a few things. Um, first of all, take notes if you need to, but of course we are recording the meeting so you can watch it in the future. Um, if you have any questions, just type it into the chat um, as we're as I'm talking and Ms. Harris will um, kind of do our best to kind of work those into what we're saying. Um, like I said, things should be getting easier. Hopefully things are more routine. Make sure you are checking your emails every day. Um, and checking for updates and things like that. I usually, if I'm gonna send out something that everyone needs to hear, I usually send it through email and I send it through Remind just to kind of cover all my bases. Uh, as you heard from the uh, governor, we are out for the year as far as going back to the school. So we will continue doing online um, for the next six weeks. So basically we've got six more weeks. Today started the first week of the sixth, six weeks. That's hard to say. So we basically have six more weeks um, of school. I'm going to look at my calendar really quickly. If I remember correctly, um, I probably should look at the last day of school, but I think it is like that Wednesday or that Thursday after Memorial Day. Are we clear on that? The 28th. The 28th. Okay. So Memorial Day is the 25th. The, we would have had school the 26th and 27th and the 28th would have been a half day. I don't know what... Um, Google Classroom is going to look like that last week of school. That last week of school is, you know, not normally a lot, a lot of academic learning anyways. So I'm not really sure what that last week is going to quite look like. Um, um, just know that we are working on a plan. And by we, I don't mean me. By we, I mean uh, the district is working on a plan with how to get your kids the stuff that's in their cubbies. From what I understand, it may be something like we go up to the school um, and we put them into bags with their names on them. And then we have a certain time on a certain day that like fourth grade is supposed to come. And um, it'll be like opposite of someone else on the opposite side of the school. So anyways, it's one of those things where you can't have more than 10 people. So you may just be told to come between this time and this time on this day, or you may be given a certain pickup time. I'm not really sure how that works, but just know that your kids will get their things because I know that there were some kids who were thought, I love such and such in my cubbies. And uh, mm -hmm. at some point, I'm assuming we'll be um, getting their library books and getting them back to Mrs. Riggs and kind of all that I'm sure is in the works and I'm sure they're, they're working on that. So um, with that being said, with this being the first week of the six, six weeks, report cards actually will come out on this Thursday, the 23rd, and they'll come out online just like they have been through Home Access Center. Um, again, the it will look different. It will be a P or an F, and that's basically pass and then fail is basically what that is. So it's, there's really only two choices. Um, I am at this point kind of moving on to grades. We finally found out that we're allowed to give more than one grade per week. We had thought that we were only supposed to give one grade per week. Um, so what the district does for us is they give us our... Um, they give us our lessons for the week and then they tell us, but this is the one we want you to take a grade on. So that's kind of what we've been doing. But we found out that we're allowed to give more than just that one grade. So I'm going to from here on out, I'm going to be giving a completion grade on what the kids do Monday through Thursday. And then I'll be giving a grade for the um, assignment or the quiz or the whatever that they do on Friday. Now, again, they're both pass fail. So you'll see through Google Meets, not Google Meets, but Google Classroom, <laughs> you'll see like um, completion grade 100, you know, Friday quiz 80. And when I go into the grade book, I'll do the completion grade as a pass and I'll do the Friday quiz as a pass. So it kind of, that's kind of how I'm doing grades. Ms. Harris, how are you doing the grade from here on out? I, similar way, I did want to say on Google Classroom, there isn't a way on Google Classroom to say pass or fail. You have to put a numerical grade in. Yeah. And so I've been doing something, some, if it's a, a failing grade, I put a 50 in. If it's a passing grade, I put a hundred because they're um, for the turning in for the completion because okay. there isn't, there isn't a pass fail. A sub, yeah. It's just a, a pass fail. So that's my Google classroom version of pass is a hundred and the fail is a 50. So if you're seeing those grades, that's, that's what that means. Just okay. so that everyone's clear. Just got it. Got it. Happy to 
work. <laughs> and, uh, yes. And on that note, great job in turning the work in. Last week, we had said that we had 17 kids that hadn't turned in their work. And yeah. um, this week, I only had three and Ms. Harris only had seven. So <laughs> that number is way, way down. And it's so much easier to only hassle three p kids and three parents than to have, have to hassle 17. So um, we're having to we have a lot of documentation when we have kids who don't turn in their work and we have to have all this documentation about why they didn't turn in and how many times we contacted the parents. So it's much easier this week having to only deal with three than having to deal with 17. So good job parents. If you had late work last week and you don't this week, it's much, much, much better job. So, um, and with that as well, uh, at least for me, you have the opportunity to redo that work. So when the kids turn it in, if I, um, think of it this way. So, they turn it in and we grade it and then we give it back to them. Um, and that's kind of like grading their paper and giving it back to them. Well, if we grade the paper and, and return it to them and it's a grade that's below a 70, they can go back into it and um, correct it and resubmit it. That way we can bring it up to that 70 or that passing. So what I've been doing is when I grade something, I'll say uh, Monday through Thursday completion 100, Friday quiz um, 33. Please redo your Friday quiz. And all they got to do is open it up, scroll down to that Friday quiz, and they'll see where I've marked X's on the ones they got wrong. And then they just need to correct it and resubmit it. And then they can change that failing grade to a passing grade, and then they're good to go. So just kind of keep in mind, kind of be watching for any redo. So that would be the equivalent of, hey, you got a 67 on this. I'm giving it back to you. Please redo it. It's kind of like the same thing. Ms. Harris, how are you handling the um, the redoing or the failings or the like, like the 50 that you do. Yeah, same same thing. The Google Classroom will allow you to return a, an assignment. So when it's below a failing, like I said, I'll put in that 50 for the numerical grade. That just means it's a fail. Um, mm -hmm. And I'll put in, I've always put in like the private comments before I hit return, do slide, you know, whatever, redo this slide. And that's the one that, you know, needs to be redone. And then you can just hit resubmit or turn. I don't know. Does it say I, turn it again or resubmit? Say? Does anyone know what it says? Thomas? Oh, it says. On I the know, screen. I know. I I think it says resubmit, but I'm not sure. So, okay. yeah. Whatever it is, we, we can't see on the student ends. What, whatever it says on the student end, resubmit. Then once you hit that, it'll come back into me as turned in, and then I can bump that back up to a passing grade with it uh, fixed. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So that's that. My dog is about to bark because there's someone outside. Um, so just make sure you're checking the work for the redos. Um, yeah. And then talking about the comments, um, I've had a lot of students who are making comments and questions on my stream page, like I had a student say, Miss Turney, I don't know how to turn this in, but they made the comment on like one of my um, things that I put out for like, uh, I don't know, it was like Taco Tuesday. What do you like on your taco? And that's where they put that comment. So that's not the best place if you're confused about something that has to do with the work, because um, when comments come in on Taco Tuesday or whatever, I, I don't delete them. I just don't quite pay attention to them until later on in the day when I'm ready to look at comments. So if kids have questions about assignments or grades or things like that, make sure that they're sending me a private comment within the um, within the thing that they're working on. So as they're working on their slides for me over on the right side where there's that turn in button, there's also something other that says private comment. So if they make a comment to me on that place there, then I know that that's, they're talking about that particular assignment. And that one, I usually open up and get back to right away. Cause it's like a kid raising their hand in class. Hey, Mr. Nia, I have a question. So just know that if they have any questions about assignments that they need to ask me questions and parents, you too, ask me questions through the private comments. Okay. And then also there's no need for them. Um, I got a lot last week, which was funny. Um, a lot of kids would, um, uh, message me through the comments. I'm done. I'm done. I turned everything in. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done over and over and over again. And I thought, okay, that's funny. They're letting me know that they're finished, but they don't need to tell me that because I get an email that says so-and-so turned in their work. So they don't need to tell me within a comment that they're finished because I can usually see that. So that's the best place to talk to me about a particular assignment. Yes. Um, along with that, as far as um, communication with me, um, I was open with giving out my cell phone number, especially when all this happened. I would like to start moving more towards emailing and private comments and not so many uh, text messages. If it's super, super emergency, then that's fine. But I think we're kind of at the point where we're not freaking out about anything because it's starting to get routine and it's starting to get easier. So I'd like to start kind of moving away from text messaging me 
and moving more towards the private comments and towards emailing. Again, if it's an emergency, then yes, that's fine. Um, but I still have some parents who are just kind of um, text messaging me things that could be uh, asked in an email. So um, kind of just think about it that way, especially on um, Friday nights at 10 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so that's kind of all I have. Miss Harris, do you have anything in particular? Um, just on that note of communication, I sent out an email later just uh, making sure, though, that all the parents are aware that my phone is broken right now. Yeah, I saw that. I can still be reached um, through email and through Remind. I have the school's um, iPad on my desk as well, which has the Remind app on it, so I can still be um uh, be reached. I just, since I won't have my phone with me, you know, if I'm in the other room or I'm, you know, wherever I, I won't be uh, responding quite as quickly as I may be used to, because there's going to be a little bit of a, a delay there since I'm not tied to my computer 24 seven, like I yeah. usually have with my phone. Um, but I'll, I'll try and still get back to you. Of course, as soon as I can, I'm checking my, my computer, my email a lot more frequently, um, today since I don't have my phone. Um, but I, I should have it by like Thursday or Friday, a new one this week. So just for the next few days, be aware. If you don't hear from me for like an hour, that's probably why. <laughs> um, Mrs. Mira, I saw that you were asking about the grades on Google Classroom. So oh, yeah. um, is does that not pop up for them whenever they open something? Well, that's, and I put on there, that it should. I thought on the student page that they should have the last tab should say grades, grades for them. It should have the their assignments that they've done in their grade. I'm not, I'm not I sure did. about that. So, I didn't see it when I uh, when I went back to look on his page. Okay, so that's why I went to the uh, home access to right. uh, see yeah. what he needs to redo or if he passed or whatever. Okay. Which okay. we do have grades on home access as well. That's I mean where they officially will go for report cards and such. Yes. But there should, there should be a place on. on yeah, Google there should be. Does anybody is there a parent on right now that has seen the grades and and can can explain how to find the grades? I know you can go to uh, the classwork tab and then okay. the top left corner, it says something like your work and okay. then like that, it shows the, all the assignments with the grade and if it's been turned in oh. or they'll need it or if it's like 90. You said the top right corner? It, it's once you're on that classwork tab and I think it's on the left hand side, it says something yeah. like your work or something you wouldn't happen to be and so you wouldn't happen to be in it where you could share that would you or i don't want to like i don't want to make his grades public no. or whatever but <laughs> just art look different from from this yeah school. unfortunately that's the one thing i don't love about google classroom is we can't see how the students see it so i i honestly have no idea so i've been there's no students that i've been calling i would say Hey, in fact, I think he's on here. <laughs> It'd be like Benjamin. Benjamin, show me your screen and show me what such and such looks like. <laughs> I don't. I can't. Yeah, I can't see what it looks like. So um, I'm. I don't I'm know. not on my computer with the the call, but I'm on my I'm on my computer here. I'm sitting in front of it. Yeah, you click okay. on classwork, and okay. then up at the top, there's a little uh, link that says view your work, and okay. then it'll have a list. And it, it, it'll have, it says April 6th through 10th, you know, and then the grade on the, on the right Got side. It. Okay. And you'll, it, it's separate for Miss Turney and then Miss Harris's class, but Got it. yeah. Okay. Miss Merrill, did you get that? Yes. I'll, uh, awesome. I'll look at it again tonight. Okay, thank you. I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad we figured that out. Yeah. And then, I'm, <laughs> and then I am, um, so when everything gets turned in on Friday and I really am trying to get everyone to turn it in by three o'clock. Um, because that way I don't spend all day Saturday, on, you know, grading. So um, I'm trying to, uh, when I get it by Friday at three o'clock, I'm trying to get it graded on Friday night and get it entered into grade book um, at some point on Saturday is kind of the way that, that I'm doing mine. Um, and along that note too, I was going to say that turning work in early is my favorite thing like right now, because <laughs> any kids who turn it in before Friday, I can grade it and get it out of the way. One of the things that's been really awesome about that is that I've had several kids who turned in the work who either thought they did it right or thought they did it all. And I was able to send it back and say, hey, baby, you didn't do Wednesdays and Thursdays graph. And they're, oh, where if they would have waited until Friday to do that, it just would have been the way that it is. So I was so glad they had turned it in early. So turning something in early is great because I get a chance to kind of check it. Now, if I'm just, if it's fine, I'm just going to grade it and I'm going to return it and you're good to go. But if there's something really, really wrong with it, then I'll send it back and say, Hey, you may want to look at page such and such to kind of yeah. give them a chance to get a better grade. So. Which if you turn it on Friday and we redo it, then you have to spend your weekend reading. So it's, yeah. 
That's kind of that's, about it. That's yeah. <laughs> that is all I have. Ms. Harris, do you have anything? Um, that's all I can think of at the moment. No. I mean, we all miss you. We're all sad that we're not going to see you. I know. It's crazy year. that, like, I'm not even going to get, I don't know. There's a the part of me that thought that maybe, like, that last week or something, things would be yes. less and we would see the kids, like, maybe that last week or two. I just... Yes, so, I was, but then there was a part of me that thought no, but there was a part of me that hoped that yes. So I don't know. It's just it's so weird. we can say goodbye to everyone, and but yeah, yeah, you know, can't do anything about it. So. It is really, really crazy. All right, so that's all we have at this point. Um, make sure the kids. Uh, we don't. We have kids coming to our lunch bunch on Wednesdays. So if your kids haven't been to that yet. Um, tell them to join us. We spend the first 30 minutes just talking. Um, and usually it's the it's the kids talking with each other. I, we kind of let them do that because we know they don't get to talk um, a lot together. So um, it's the kids talking with each other. And we have lunch together on Wednesdays at 12 o'clock. And then at 1230, we kind of do a question and answer session where if the kids have any questions about assignments or activities or how to do something, then they stay on and they ask us questions. So it's kind of their chance to ask us anything they need to ask us for the week. Um, so that's been helpful um, as well, too, to have the kids be able to ask questions. So make sure they're coming to that lunch bunch on Wednesdays because that's kind of the only way we get to see them. <laughs> All right. So at this point, if you are ready to go, then you may go. And we will see you hopefully um, next Monday for the meeting. Um, if you have a question, uh, you can stay on. Um, some of you have questions and you can stay on. Some of you just like to stay on because you hear other people's voices and the people that are in your house. And that's kind of nice. So um, I'm just going to kind of go down my list. And if anybody has a question, you can unmute yourself and say yes or no or whatever it is that you need to do. Uh, Ms. Behovic, do you have any questions? All right. Nope. Ms. Behovic is a no. All right. Declan, do you have any questions? Ms. Krause? I I do. I was actually going to, going to see if it would be worth suggesting because I'm kind of the same with the whole Declan's not going to get to see the other kids and you guys. And, I know. And, you know, that, that kind of, I hate the word closure, but that kind of closure at the end of the year is kind of important. Once this is all over, is there any way that we could maybe organize like a get together at a park? I would love that. that would I would love great. that. I absolutely would. I think that's a great idea. Um, I would have to get like clearance, I'm sure, yeah. from the district. Um, yeah. And if I can't get that clearance, it may be something that a parent has to do outside of the school and something that we don't plan. And then that yeah. way we're not um, culprits in that or whatever you want to call it. But um, right. let me, let me, I'm sure there's at least one of us who would be willing I'm to take sure on that responsibility sure if necessary. <laughs> let me ask Miss Donahoe about that and see what she says. Um, it's all probably going to have to do with what the district tells us that we can and cannot do. Um, but let me find out and I will get back to you and have an yeah. answer for you at one of our uh, parent meetings coming up. So it like, would be great if we can do that because I oh, think that, that, that it would be, be really great for all the kids to be Absolutely. together. I mean, even if it's, I mean, we could wait until June if we need to. So yeah. um, like I said, if, even if it's not Ms. Harris or I, then it, it, it could be a parent, then that would probably work out as well. So I will write that down and I will ask her. That's a great question. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Carolos, do you have a question? Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. Um, can, can, is it uh, possible you can redo any tests? Uh, for me, you can redo anything that you make below a 70 on. Same for Mrs. Harris. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So if you if you get it back and it says, because um, most, most kids have been getting passing grades on the completion at, at this point, unless they just didn't turn it in. So most kids are getting passing grades on the completion. But if you got like a 33 on the quiz or maybe you got a 60 on the math assignment, then you can redo it if it's below a 70. So if there's anything that's below a 70, you can redo it and you can resubmit it. Can you can you tell me how I can do it? Um, you should be able. To, you can click back on it and open it back up once I've returned it to you. And then for me, you just scroll down to the page that you want to do and change your answers. Okay. Does that make sense? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, and then back where the where the turn in button used to be, I don't think it says turn in anymore. I think it says resubmit instead of turn in. Okay. okay. If that doesn't work for you, Carolos, let me know, and we can try to do a Google Meets like we did last time where we can see the screens and we can figure it out. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome, sweetie. All right. Um, Benjamin, any questions? No, I don't have any questions. You're good, baby. Okay, thank you. All right, Natalie, any questions? Natalie McGee, any questions? No. No questions? No okay. okay. All right, thank you, Sue. <laughs> Belle, do you have any questions? Yes? Yeah? Okay. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> What's so, your question? My question is for the yearbook. Um, how are we going to get it? Oh, great question. All right, let me write that one down. Um, you know what? Here would be my thought, but I could be lying to you, okay? Um, <laughs> yearbooks come sometime in April or May, I think early May. Yeah. So like my, if everything is still a go like it was and the yearbook place was not a place that had to close, then we could probably still get them and they may be with your stuff um, when, when we give it to you at the end of the year. But um, if that place, if, if it was a place of business that wasn't considered essential and they had to close, they've been closed this whole time, then your books might be a little bit behind and you may have to wait until next school year to get it. But I will ask about that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, right. You're so cute. Oh my gosh. Bill. <laughs> I talked to them and I just remember how cute they are and how much I miss them. We miss them. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, um, Miss Farrell, any questions? Oh my gosh, she was so adorable. Um, no, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was like, oh, she just know. wants her yearbook. Give the girl her yearbook. I know. <laughs> it melts my heart. It melts my heart. When I hear their voices. It just melts my heart. All right. Uh, Steven, any questions, Steven? Thank you, Miss Farrell. <laughs> um, for Miss Harris, I didn't get any of the grades. Did you look on Google Classroom or in Home Access Center? Google Classroom. Okay. Um, for any assignments, you haven't gotten any grades? No assignments. Okay. I'm looking at yours. I wonder if maybe that was one that I just didn't send back. Oh, yep. You're right. Yeah, you have to return it. Guys, on my end, that you turned it in, but I haven't. Uh, re I haven't returned it to you yet. I'm so sorry, Stephen. <laughs> I do have yours in the grade in the grade book on Home Access Center. I just haven't done it on Google Classroom. I must have missed yours. Sorry. I will have that to you by the end of the day, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. Thanks, Stephen. All right. Who is? I thought there was a word on it. Okay, Thomas. Any questions, Thomas. baby? No. You're good. No question. Hey, I like your, I like your Hearst Hills Falcon shirt, dude. <laughs> Way to go, Hearst Tills Falcon Pride. Yes. Hey, did everybody see our TikTok on Facebook? No. We didn't see it. That's ridiculous Miss Harris is when she tries to dance. <laughs> oh, the whole grade teacher did a TikTok dance. All right. So if you go, if you if you are on Facebook, you can go to the um, Hearst Hills Elementary Facebook page. And all last week, a different fourth grade teacher did like a little video about what we're up to um, during this time. And on Friday, we did like a TikTok video dance, and it was fun. <laughs> It was funny actually watching us dance. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, parents, if there are no more questions, if nobody else has a question, this is kind of like your last uh, your last chance to ask a question. Um, okay. No more questions. Question. We are good. You have a question, Declan? Yes. Sure. Okay. Go ahead, baby. Um, do I have anything from either of you that I haven't turned Done. in apart from the things that? <laughs> I haven't touched at all this week. <laughs> um, I saw that you had turned something in for me this week, Declan, but I had not looked at it yet because I had trouble with my computer and I literally had to get a brand new one later on oh. this day. So um, I know. Well, I'm a brand new one from the, the school. I say brand new one. They give me a loaner while they try to fix mine. So it took some, yeah, it took me some time. Well, you worried for me, baby. <laughs> of course you were. You're just like that, aren't you? You're um, for everyone. <laughs> I know. 
No, but it's sweet. That's a very sweet, it's a good. It's a good quality to have. Um. Anyway, so I didn't do a lot of stuff on my classroom today, as far as on Google Classroom, because I was working with trying to get my computer set up and get my email set up and all that kind of stuff. So, um, I saw. <laughs> you know, I I didn't get a chance to look at it. So. Um, and and my additional question is, what is the name of the Facebook page? Hearst Hill. I, was. I think it's just called Hearst Hill Elementary. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yep. That's all it is. All right. Parents and students, if that's all, then we will see you guys next week. And kiddos, we will see you on Wednesday at our lunch bunch. Okay. Bye, Miss Turney. Bye, Miss Harris. Bye, Bye Thomas. Bye, Bye Dad. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye, Carlos. Bye. All right, let me Bye. Stop. Bye. I'm gonna stop recording. I know. <laughs> Let's see. Stop recording. Alexa, stop.